Hello, everybody. We had a big matchup in the world of high school boys at tennis this evening as the defending state champs from Rapid City Christian took on Stevens. This duel being played out at the new Sioux Park tennis courts at flight one doubles. Max Ferris and Daler Seegers are on the court for Stevens. Ferris with the strong forehand return for the winner. Noah Geyer and Jack Hancock playing flight one for Christian. Hancock rips a strong shot past the Raiders as the Comets top tandem looking pretty tough out there. Let's go to flight two doubles now. Leo Schmidt and Braden Elson are in action for the Raiders. Schmidt connects on the strong shot here for the point. Henry Beckloff and Kane Schaefer is playing flight two for the Comets. Beckloff, it's a nice shot right down the line for the winner. Good looking shot there. Rapid City Christian picked up the win at flight two and as a team the Comets take the duel seven to two. Elsewhere in boys tennis today, St. Thomas Moore split a pair of duels in Sioux Falls, defeating Roosevelt nine nothing and falling to Gorman by that same score and high school baseball Rapid City Central rolled past Douglas 13 to 3 Rapid City Christian knocked off Lee Deadwood 12 to 4. Jet Janvrin and Isaiah Whiting delivered big seasons for the Central Boys basketball team. Here's more on this talented tandem. Isaiah Whiting and Jet Janvrin served as captains for this year's Rapid City Central Boys basketball team and Whiting gave the Cobblers a strong offensive presence. Then in fifth grade, I, uh, I went to Horseman Elementary and then the, my fifth grade year was the first year they ever had a boys fifth grade basketball team. So I was a part of that. And then that's when I first started taking it serious and realizing uh, I could possibly go somewhere with basketball. He's had a really good offensive year and, and uh, you know, it's just one of those things. We've had a hard time scoring as a team, um, but but the, the games that we've played decent is, is when, uh, you know, especially Isaiah's had a good offensive game. Jan Brun will play at the next level as he's headed to Mount Marty. Taking care of the ball and setting his teammates up with good shots is the strength of his game. You know, playing point guard, facilitating well, handling pressure well, being able to handle the ball. I think that's really helped me and it's something that I've been able to develop over my three years, so I think that's definitely a strong part of my game. Pulled him up as a sophomore, um, he kind of played at the point guard, and then last year we kind of moved him to the two guard, and then this year we moved him back to the point, and uh, you know, he's one of those, he, he can play either of those two spots, the one or the two. Um, you know, he's, he's a gym rat, he, he's does a lot of stuff in the off season, played a lot of basketball. Isaiah and Jet have enjoyed their time playing together at Central, and they formed a strong bond both on and off the court. I enjoy playing with Jet. He, he always seems to find me at the right time. Uh, he's an enjoyable guy to be around. Funny guy, too. Um, yeah, I played basketball with him for like at least the last four years and then, then played against him my all my through my middle school years from freshman year to now you know it's been awesome he's a really good player he plays defense well he has a really really good post game for a guard and that's really fun so it's been awesome playing with him Good catching up with Isaiah and Jet. Congrats to those guys on a great high school basketball career over at Central. Major League Baseball today. Twins came up on the short end, falling to the Guardians 4-2. NHL Avalanche knocked off the Wild 5-2. And you got some big news about the Black Hill State Yellow Jackets. That's right. Black Hill State has our new official athletic director. It's Mark Norrie, who had been working as the interim AD since uh, December. But, of course, Norrie is a longtime women's basketball coach at Black Hill State. Has had a lot of success. Now, part of this transition, he'll be stepping down from his coaching duties. So, Black Hill State women's basketball team will have a new head coach next season. All right. Thanks, Vic.